Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to talk about uh, improving your skills. I get a lot of questions uh, from people sending me messages saying how do I improve my skills, how to become a more skillful player. Today I have a few drills that you can use to practice your skills. You can definitely profit from it during the game. So let's go. The quickest way to become a more skillful player is to make sure that you have full control over the ball. At first, if you take a straight line, this is a good exercise and a good drill for you to get really comfortable keeping the ball on the same line and bringing it from left to right. All you need is two cones, position yourself in between and go left, right. If you get comfortable, you can try and go a little bit faster. So don't make it, don't make it too small, make it nice and wide so that defenders and other players are gonna find it hard to get the ball off you because you're comfortable on going back and forth. So what's important with this drill is that your left hand is steady. So your left hand is fixed. Your right hand is soft and the stick turns inside your right hand. So you go left, the stick turns inside your right hand and here it turns back. So they're not stuck both. The left one is stuck and the right one is soft and it turns in between. All right, so when you get the hang of that, um, because in the game you're never static in one position, you need to get used to moving around and then keeping the ball on the stick. So a drill could be, is having these two cones here. What you do is you take five slides, one, two, three, four, five. Then you bring it back and here you do the same. One, two, three, four, five. And then you go here again. One, two, three, four, five. Back, one, two, three, four, five. And then go forward again. Have a go. All right, so all we've been doing now is trying to get control of the ball to go left and right. And we've always been in the same position. When you get the hang of that, what you can try and do is you can step inside the two cones. You try and go back and forth from left to right and then move clockwise. And then again, and then go here. Try every time to move 90 degrees and get control over the ball. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try and combine the two exercises we did before. What are we gonna do? We're gonna bring the ball to the starting point of this exercise, and we're gonna try and make a looping or an eight shape around these cones without touching them, but we're gonna add some footwork. So what you wanna do is you place your right foot inside. We go up. When we pull it back, that's when we move our right foot because it works in the game. If the defender sees that the ball is going towards your own foot, they'll never be able to touch it because your foot was there. So you bring it back, and then here, you bring in your right foot in the middle, and you bring it up, and then you pull it back again. And then you can see the footwork going up and down. All right guys, thanks for watching that video. I hope you liked it. Um, keep practicing your skills and you'll become a more skillful player, I'm sure. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and like the video. I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.